I'm between our two winter greenhouses right now because it's pretty breezy out here in the field and I thought I'd give you a good uh, some good audio to start this video. I'm Tessa at Willow Haven Farm showing you our fall crops here in the greenhouses and out in the field and what the farm crew is doing today at, to finish up their work week. So we have these two greenhouses that we put up two winters ago and here's the nice quiet alley in between them. It's covered with this thick, durable, heavy black fabric cloth so that we don't have to mow and weed too much in between. And we have fall crops growing in this one. These were planted a couple weeks ago. We have red butterhead lettuce here. That's gonna be delicious. And this, um, the technology of our green, greenhouses, now these aren't heated, so technically they're not greenhouses, they're high tunnels. They've got a sprinkler system in here so that we can water them. It's protected from frost and the elements um, to a certain degree. And um, we've done a good job of keeping the weeds down because we covered it this entire surface of the dirt with these big tarps um, with the black side up because we wanted to fry all the weeds that were growing in here. We weed whacked everything down and then we fried everything with that, cook, just cooked the weeds and the weed seeds underneath so that we could plant in here and give everything a good head start before weeds started coming up. And then we've got cultivation tools in that we can use around here. And it looks like, you know, we need to do a little weeding here around some of these plants to, and I'm sure we, that we will get to that because um, we want to have good lettuce for you guys in October and beyond. So that is the lettuce. We have um, Swiss chard here. This is the yellow Swiss chard or the white with the white or yellow stems. This is more Napa cabbage. We gave that out in our market boxes in the spring and into June. And this is collard greens. So we've got those going. It looks like they're doing well and will be ready for your market boxes um, in a few weeks. So we're looking forward to that. And then here, we took a different approach and we got the soil ready underneath underneath here. And then to prevent the weeds coming up, we took that black fabric and laid it across this whole, the whole surface of this area. We have less, um, we have less people here in the fall who are um, working here on the farm. So we've got to maximize our labor force using these kinds of tools. And so these um, are pinned down with these um, stakes. I don't know if you can see that here. It's kind of hiding in here. There's a stake here. They're really long. I'll show you them in a minute. And then we burned holes into the, this fabric just for the size of the plants. We burned those um, with our flame weeder. The perfect size for that. And here is a box of those fabric stakes. These are good six to eight inches long. Put those, slip those in at the seams of that. And we have um, lettuce, Swiss chard, kale growing in here. And that will be even later in the fall where we're, we're harvesting that. Now I am, this is the farthest point on the farm where um, we are growing vegetables uh, in these greenhouses and our really, really long um, rows of eggplant and tomatoes start way down there at that tree line. These are 900 foot rows. It takes a lot of stamina and a lot of mental energy to 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 pick a whole row of eggplant or peppers or tomatoes and then haul those bins 
to the um uh, to the to the road or wherever the vehicle is parked now i'm walking through this eggplant we still have flowers so these are still producing nice japanese eggplant and globe eggplant we'll have that for a few more weeks in the fall here and then we mowed this patch here and then i'll show you what um andres is doing here this is our rows of tomatoes and they're done um the plants are dead tomatoes are done and um i don't even really see much for green tomatoes here maybe a few maybe i'll pick these add them to something tonight um, yeah it's fun coming out to the field and getting a few things but it's fall so we're doing field cleanup um, as well as picking and planting so there's always a lot of activity going on in the farm and our as I showed you in the spring when we were putting all this up black plastic is down it was our weed control underneath the plants and then we had the stakes here to keep, um, to support them. And we have the strings here that the plants grow up through and it supports the vines. And, but in the fall, especially as an organic, certified organic farm, we're required, we would do this anyway, um, to, get all this plastic, all this drip line all out of the field so that um, so that the soil can be exposed and to to the um, to the rain again and so that we can work the, the soil and plant new things. So we're going to rotate crops. Something else will be planted here. We'll put cover crops over this this field this fall, plant something that will just grow a little bit here in the fall and then in the spring and that's how we keep doing keep improving our soil year after year season after season now andres had a cool tool i was hoping that he would get a chance to show us here you can see here a pile of stakes um these will get all taken out of the field and here's Andre. I wonder if he's off the phone. He was with I'm talking to Ruben on the phone. I think. Hey, Andre, are you? Can you show us that tool? All right. So this is just a simple lever. having to unstring the strings before you do this, right? All right, did someone else come through and do strings earlier? I did. You did. <laughs> All right, so we've got this simple lever. It props against the ground. And then with the lever, it's just really easy to pull, loosen the stake out of the ground. Mm -hmm. How did you used to do it? With my hand. Like, just pull with all your might? Yep. Wiggle it. Break sometimes. sometimes it break off. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's pretty nice. Glad we have that. Save you a little bit of energy. A lot, a lot of energy. Yes, exactly. So, well, that's that's your look at the farm today. Thanks for joining me. Thanks so much for being friends of our farm and our community. Thank you so much for committing to buying your local food and locally produced groceries from um, through us from Will Willow Haven Farm in your market boxes. If you are not a market box member and you are in the Lehigh Valley, please check us out at willowhavenfarmpa.com. Download my what's in the box guide and I will walk you through the process of um, choosing a market box that will work for you and we'll be happy 
to serve you all winter long with fresh food from local farmers, including us. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.